Salutations, everyone. My name is Food Cat, and welcome back to Clock Tower 3. So in the last part, our quantum serial killer was the leader of the subordinates, and we had to face him twice. He was the easiest boss that we fought thus far, so I didn't really understand why it's so unbalanced when it comes to the boss fights. And also, the enigmatic man has squatulated with Nancy, and now we're out to go save her, I believe. And I do recall, as always, Scissor Woman. Alyssa, wait for me! Well, I mean, you're just standing there. Just follow through. I mean, it's gonna be foreboding either way. Okay. So, where are we at now? The streets of London. Dennis! Dennis! Where are you? Sis! What? But you said she wouldn't be back for another six months. I know, but that's her. No mistake. I'm sure of it. Linda! Wait, Dennis! Something tells me that this is falsity. Like, why on earth would she be going to the hospital searching for Dennis? Sis! I've come back, Dennis. I couldn't leave you in that house alone any longer. I'm here now. I've missed you so much, sis. Yeah, all right. Is this the sewed call scissor woman? Well, at least it's getting exciting now. It's getting to the point that people want to see. Uh, who is this gentleman? This isn't a scissor man, is it? Nice to meet you, Alyssa. You have some remarkable powers. But no one is powerful enough to defeat us. If you want your friend alive, give us your heart so we can create a new entity. <laughs> Dennis! Alyssa! Dennis! She didn't sound like she really wanted my heart. It sounded more like she was trying to get through a script as fast as possible. <laughs> Alright. I feel like this scissor man thing is like a disdainful concept. This is like DeviantArt Scissor Man. Probably the worst character creation yet. Oh gosh. Uh, what are we doing here? There's a body here too. Uh, who would do something like this? Is that a... no? No, that's a pillow. I need to... this button. Sentimental item. No use for it. Photo of a serene looking woman. Who does it belong to? Is it not this woman? Hmm. That's new. Dennis' letter to Linda. Hey sis, how's Africa? Have you seen any elephants? I'm not too bad. Living alone is really hard though. Don't know how you managed to raise me. I never say this to your face, but I do appreciate that you know. When you get back, I'll find a job and do my share. Just another six months. It'll go by in a blank. I'll write again soon. Take care, Dennis. Alright, I was hoping it'd be about the corpse, but that's totally fine too. Okay, I need to run away from this. Can we go through this? Oh yes, we can. Did we get pushed in here in the cutscene? Lavender water. Terrific. Uh, where can I save, if this is a place I can save? Oh, maybe there's a corpse in here that I can give the thing to. Oh, and yes, we'll go ahead and fill up our water, too. I didn't realize how low we are. Hmm, I wonder where the corpse is for that. Labeled key A. We're looking for keys now? Okay. Well, I gotta go find this body first. Clearly, there's someone dead here. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, hang on. Is that what this goes to? There we go. 
What do you have to offer me? They don't really have much story for the sentimental items anymore. That's a little disappointing. Oh, this is where we came from. It was hard to find the door. Okay. So now we gotta find another passageway. Huh. Alright, we'll see where it goes from here. Open. None of the doors open. I wasted most of my time just ambling through this, so I had to, like, jump cut to this point. But I'm in another area now? Didn't really find too much. What about here? Nope, door's locked. There's a sturdy lock it won't open. Is that a portal square? If only I could open this door. Ah. Uh, yes, I understand that. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to look at this freaking keypad thing. Label key may work. Use it? Oh. Well, okay then. It's gonna be a bit of a power drill massacre fetch quest. I can do that. That game was not too difficult for me. I beat it like five times now. I mean, most of the parts, I've gotten lucky with that game. Looking glass. Not sure what that's needed for. I wonder why the cupboard doors won't open. They're not broken. There must be another way to open them. Like, breaking it? Is that like magical glass? Uh, there was a sink back there, but, uh, I was gonna check there early, but whatever. I'll check in other places and see if they have any keys laying nearby. And there's a mirror. Um, the looking glass is reacting to the mirror. Use looking glass? Yes. Why would I not? I'm about to die. <laughs> what magic saves my life? Okay, um... Release form? For what? Wait, can... Can Scissor Man not come in here? Or is it Scissor Woman? Are they taking sides? I guess we'll find out. I want to hear their quotes. There you are. Oh my gosh, go through Alyssa. Oh no! Brimming Wander. Uh, no, I don't really need that. I need to get out of here. Oh my gosh. That's... Why are these butterflies still here? Wow, that's frustrating. Go through her door. Snippity snap. I got your back. No. Man, Alyssa is so difficult to control. It's like sometimes you could just like, is it that difficult to shoo all the insects? You know, by now you should have figured out a plan on how to get rid of them. Maybe do the blanket thing like the parrot from Fear. First Fear, I said Fear. How did she not see me? It's like her eyes are only fixated in the middle wall. It's not fixated on the bottom. That's funny. Alright, as I'm waiting, I'll drink some water because I'm losing my voice. Alright. So let's go ahead and check what's in this area. Ah, so you got the duos working together on different sides. Label key C. 
Lavender water. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Wait, why is it just... I can use up water just for... That is ridiculous. You know, for a blue sigil, you'd expect to, like, get another key. Did they really get me a lavender water? Okay, I'm gonna have to go back into that area then. Was it this area that I got the water in? You know what? I'm not even gonna bother. I have three left. That's sufficient. Okay, none of those doors open. Okay, so I got a release form. And what is this? Photo of a child? Wonder what that's needed for. Uh... Oh, bathroom. Okay, we'll hide in here. Oh, you are... Oh, Alyssa, you are the worst. Alyssa! Alyssa. Wow, Alyssa. I need you to cooperate with me. I'm doomed. Wait, how do you not see... She is a bit of a simpleton, isn't she? Then again, she isn't fixated on the ground, so... I guess invisibility isn't really a surprise. So I'm in the boys' bathroom. Is this even allowed? Scissor Woman wasn't allowed in either. I'm a transgender. How about that? Oh, any day now. Every time I want to drink water, she always disappears. Alright, anything I need in here? Excuse me? Ah! You've been hiding a key from me all along. Alright, we're gonna have to get away from her as quick as possible then. Interesting hiding spot. It's as if she anticipated me to hide in the bathroom. A little absurd, but that's fine. I still can't believe their concept. What's this door? Oh, it's a corpse. It must be... This person must have also been a victim. The corpse is holding something. A fiercely scribbled journal entry. Wow, we're dealing with chaos right now. <laughs> How many bloody months have passed since they locked me up in this excuse for a clinic? Those idiot doctors still find a reason for me to be here. I demand to be released. Every time I get a hospital release form, it is gone by morning. Get me out, please. Please let me out of here. I fear I will go bad. Locked up in here. Okay, how about... Release form. That's what it sounds like you need. Alright, let's see what item I get from this. Central stone? Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll just hide down here for now. I think I had to go back to one of the specters and give them that photo of a child. I'm, I still don't know how I'm going to open up that cupboard thing. I haven't found an item for that. Alright, hopefully he doesn't disappear as I'm drinking water. I need it. And... Dissipate now. There we go. Now I shouldn't be any further danger. Just have to go back down to the specter that we were at before. That music's funny. It doesn't sound like any sort of clock tower music. Sounds like the type of thing you would hear off of Curse. 
you know, the soundtrack is a bit lackadaisical when it comes to theming. So, here we go. Magnificent. But now... Repellent arrow. I'll go ahead and put the key in right now. Just to save some time. Alright. Still, what am I supposed to do about this cutboard thing? I'm gonna have to, like, read it up again. It didn't really specify what you're supposed to do. It was just oddly locked up. That's all they said. Or is there... Excuse me? Alright, let's see where he goes. Come on, Alyssa. I wonder what fangirls are thinking of this right now. Ah, sissy man! Oh my gosh. It's kind of like a Jeff the Killer. I just need him to disappear, that's all. Nothing more. Alright. Now I can go back in here. And see what the flip they're talking about. Uh, what? Okay. That discombobulates me. I, I guess I was doing something by specific order? Or maybe I had to, like, get all the items for the specters? I really don't know. But now we can go ahead and open up the door entirely. Yeah, you can come all you want. I've already succeeded. I get the Power Drill Massacre good ending. Alright, let's see where this takes us. <sighs> Seriously, the Scissor Man and the Scissor Woman, it looks like they're ready for a Mardi Gras. Hmm. <laughs> Yodohe Adohe Adonai Ton Ne He Shibolat Grandpa Neglect I still don't understand why she doesn't like entirely approach them. Well, okay then. So I'm gonna cut off the camera for now because it's at that 21 minute mark, so I'm gonna take a bit of a break and get some more water. And we're back, and I see two things glowing, so we'll go ahead and interact with this. 2nd April 1998. Today is Alyssa's 10th birthday. The ruder powers will become visible any time now. Alyssa is growing up into a lovely young lady. She is everything to me, and I wish for nothing more than to watch over her all her life. But I know that is not to be. Every step she takes towards adulthood is a step away from me. Must I leave her? I want so much to be with her always. Deal with it, dude. <laughs> I have stumbled across an incredible document. An account of a ceremony called the Ritual of Engagement. It is written that by obtaining the heart of a ruder on her 15th birthday and drinking her blood, a person can be transformed into an entity and receive the gift of immortality. I am disgusted by the nature of this ritual, of course. But at the same time, there is a part of me that cannot resist its allure. If I tore out Alyssa's heart with these hands and partook of her blood, I could be joined with her for all eternity. Am I capable of such a monstrosity? Must I desecrate my beloved in order to save myself? Yet another amazing discovery. The legend of Lord Burroughs. In the document is a mysterious triangular crest. It is said 
that the one who is able to decipher the secrets of the crest will be able to become an entity. I suspect that this too is related to the ritual of engagement. But what could the letters A, D and N signify? I must know. Somehow, I must uncover the truth. The answer is hiding out there somewhere. A, D, N. DNA? I don't know. Uh, let's get this. Lavender water. We're getting more of that recently. What we haven't been getting often is the invisibility ban. Was this on purpose? Anywho, let's go ahead and refill. I don't feel like saving. Just go ahead and just go straight to it. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I... I'm kind of used to it at this point. They always just pop up abruptly. Gonna have to do it again, huh? And then use it. Um, excuse me, sir. I'm trying to go through the door. Why did they have to put a blue sigil there? Like, what was the purpose of that? Anywho, let's go ahead and get this repellent arrow. We still haven't done a boss fight yet. We got like two repellent arrows already. Is there something that I need to know? Is it gonna be a much more difficult boss fight? That's a high possibility. Anywho, I guess we'll go this way. You are unbearable. Oh yeah, let's go to that. Uh, boom. Dodge. Why is Karma always on her side? That was meant to be a catch-22, are you kidding me? Employee's memo. Uh, yes, let's go. I have received orders from Ralph and Jemima to kill still more. I cannot continue in this fashion. I killed 10 last week, and this week they want 20. When will it stop? Soon there will not be a person left in the entire village. Ralph and Jemima. It must be these characters. I must do something about this. They are to be imprisoned in the kitchen. One of the steel bars on the window can't be removed, can be removed. I ho I do hope that they are able to see that before it is too late. And once they escape, I pray that they will tell the world of the atrocities that will go on behind these walls. Uh, I'm out of water already. Now, it's funny because this playthrough just started, but my throat's just been hurting ongoing. It's like before recording this, I was drinking a lot of water. I don't know what's up with my throat today. Just a fun fact, it's just like extremely sensitive. That's why I can't yell or anything. It just hurts it even more. Oh, we're in this area. Thought that tells me I'm not supposed to go upstairs. Oh. There was an arrow behind here. Binding arrow. Have I used any of those yet? I said something about like R2 or R3 back then, like part one, but I still haven't figured it out. Now it was part two. Repellent arrow. Alright. So we're finding a lot of arrows recently, but yet we still haven't come close to a boss fight. I always thought that signified that a boss fight was near. But I guess not for this part of the game. I don't think I can cross here. Um, where can you cross then? Oh. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> Do I have to crouch for that? Guess we'll find out. Freaking background. 
like the sullen weather and all that. It's like 2D textured pine trees. <laughs> no, I don't think those are pine trees. But you know it's an old video game when they have the textures looking like that. Oh, I guess the Spectre can't harm me from here. Interesting. And we're out of here. Yeah. Let's check this door. It's locked. Okay, I guess we go through here then. Kind of figured that. Just like the previous rooms, they were locked. Oh, is this the steel bar thing that he was talking about? It must be steel bars. Remove the loose bars? Yes. And I gotta get in there before I get killed. Alright, cool. Um, they must have stored food here. Are those blood stains? Is that a note? There is an old jotting pad on the desk. If you wish to open the other path, calm the flames. Oh, it's a hint. Well, okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this. It looks like a start to a grizzly porn. Can I examine her? Well, anywho. Um, ooh. Is that one of the letters? It says A. Uh, yes, let's go ahead and use this. Do I have to interact with this first? The fire in the stove is flaring. I think I see something back there. And now I interact with this. This is the hint that they were talking about, correct? There are mounds of ash burned into a pile. I heard that they used ash to extinguish fires back then. Yes, use it. A lot of people still did that. Okay. So what do we have? The fire has died out. A crust. Now, I wonder if I can investigate this by any chance. Let's see if I can just move back out. Because their bodies do disappear after you leave. And when I come in... Whoop, she's gone. The oven hasn't been used in a long time. What's in it? Yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. Oh no. Charred skull. I went too far. I killed Scissor Woman. She was decapitated. <laughs> well, okay. Um, is that by any chance a sentimental item? Um, you know what? Let me go ahead and go back first and see if this is by any chance a sentimental item. Alright, charred skull? There we go. Oh, he doesn't have a head. That's interesting. Ooh. Repellent arrow. Or a sigil stone. But what about the repellent arrow? Can I get that? Thank you. Oh boy. Let's get out of here before Scissor Man shows up. Oh my gosh. No. Just gonna 23 skidoo from here. Just going through the steel bars even though I could have just gone through the door. You are just terrible. Same with these camera angles, but I'm getting the hang of them. Oh boy. Oh, I can refill. I'm surprised I haven't seen more of these. Jars rooming, yes. Can I throw this on her? I'm gonna have to lose her before I can go to this area. Oh my gosh. There is a new item. Let's go ahead and get that. 
There's also a notebook, but... Did I lose Slice her? Dice. No. How did she do that? She just teleported there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I guess we'll go through here. Man. Panic meter's almost all the way up. Yeah, we'll go ahead and check this. Can she come in here? Uh, yes, get this. Sweet, we got the end press now. All we need is the D. No pun intended. Given that that's what it sounds like. There's like a lot of genital jokes that can come out of this game. I'm just gonna wait until she disappears. And then I'll go back into those rooms. It's kind of an antechamber, if you think about it. Yeah, I think she's about to leave soon. You may despawn, please. Yeah, she's gonna do it soon. So I'll get ready. Yes, go through. And I think the panic meter looks okay. So long as she's not, like, hiding in the corner and then attacks me. You know, if they were smart, they would attack me from here. Just crawling through the corner like that. Alright. So let's check up on that notebook now. Fifth January two thousand. I have trudged around the blasted continent until my shoes are almost worn through, but it is no use. Where is the castle of Lord Buzz? That is the only place where the mystery of the triangular crest can be solved. I feel sure. 15th November. It is hard to believe that three years have flown by since I embarked on my journey. I am not a smidgen closer to finding Butter's castle. Meanwhile, I grow older by the day, and my health continues to decline. I am certain that Nancy has by this time found my journals and realized my plan to seize Alyssa's heart on her 15th birthday to carry out the ritual of engagement. How Alyssa must have grown in my absence. How I wish to be with her, to be one with her. And yet, I do not have the courage to perform her ritual. What do I do? If I do nothing, I am no better than her father. This Hamilton, at least, should have spied. All right then, Dick Hamilton. Dick is really obsessed with that phrase. Um, but we can go back into this place now and see if there are any secrets. Let's see, a water fountain. Can I interact with this? No, I cannot. Hmm. This looks peculiar. Why is this marked all scratched up? What a beautiful candlestick. It's been moved. Return it to its original place? Yes. Ooh. Make that sound, please. Why I unlock a secret. Dun 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 dun. I like that sound. I don't hear it too often in this game. You are the greatest. <laughs> okay. Let me go ahead and refill my water. Cool. And this is where I insert these, huh? And I guess I go to the other side. Can I see this before I start? Large painting. There's a title on it. N. Loving mother suffers in place of daughter A. Hmm. Daughter A.
Terrific. Let's go ahead and go through the secret door now. There's so many secret doors around this place. I wonder if it means if I'm safe from any kills. Alright, let's go ahead and keep on going. Excuse me. What now? Battery is about to die, so... Do I have to cut this off again? Yeah, I guess I'll cut it off and get another bottle of water and then I'll continue on. Alright, so let's go ahead and proceed. I don't know what room this is now. I'm guessing that's Lord Burroughs. And there's something here. Ooh, there's the decrest. Book of Entities 4? Lord Darcy Burroughs owned much of Southeast England at the beginning of the 17th century. He married Natalia Hamilton of the illustrious Hamilton family, and they had one daughter, Annabelle. Despite his harsh reputation, Lord Burroughs loved his daughter dearly, bequeathing all his lands to her upon his death. In the 15th year of his life, Lord Burroughs, fearing the impairments of life, learned of the ent entities and the ritual of engagement. With his daughter almost 15, he made the fateful decision to perform the ritual, but then disaster struck. On the day before her 15th birthday, Annabelle was killed. When her carriage rolled onto its side, shocked by the sudden death, of his beloved daughter as well as his inability to realize the ritual. Burroughs fell into a deep depression when his despair finally dissipated. It was finally replaced by raging anger. Though he had both the coachman and the maid who were, the, his, who were with Annabelle at the time of her death killed, it did little to assuage his anger. The massacre of his staff continued, even extending to villagers on his lands. Lady Burroughs did what she could to convince him to stop the savagery, but only succeeded in inflaming him further, and she too was felled. Lord Darcy Burroughs eventually died, crushed between the huge cogs that formed the mechanism of the clock tower of the castle as he escaped from the mobs of angry farmers. According to the legend, he vowed to plague the world with hate and terror for as long as the clock tower remained standing. So huge cogs, huh? That's actually not as bad as the big hand decapitating that one guy from the first clock tower. Something is trapped between the volumes. 22nd December 2002. I have found the Burroughs Castle. I have finally solved the mystery. Lord Darcy Burroughs had a daughter, Annabel, but also a son, William, from his first marriage. Although Burroughs himself was killed, William escaped and lived out the rest of his days in peace under the pseudonym Billy Brown. Billy Brown. What a strange twist of fate. Although I took the Hamilton name when I married Francesca, my father was a Brown, a descendant of Billy Brown, which means that I am directly related to Lord Burroughs. The A, D, and N crests also make perfect sense now. Lord Burroughs' beloved daughter Annabelle's name, his first name, Darcy, and his wife's first name, Natalia. My name is Dick, my daughter is Nancy, and my lovely granddaughter is Alyssa. Destiny weaves its web in the strangest of patterns. Does the legacy of Lord Burroughs live on? The fury of he who failed to become an entity? Is it futile, after all, to fight against fate? I wonder what it would have been like if that was actually a skullduggery. Dennis! Dennis! I'll save you, Dennis! Mm hmm. Let's 
go ahead and see more of it. I'm not done watching the film. Do I have to turn it off? A hidden switch is illuminated. Press it? Yes. Oh no. Oh, sweet. Well, I guess you were supposed to talk to the projector to turn it off, but okay. Alright, let's go ahead and interact with this. Yes, put it in. But yeah, imagine if it wasn't really a pseudonym and that was his original name, Billy Brown. Uh, I would be bursting into tears right now. <laughs> and then, what, Dick Hamilton? He's just gonna be like, whoopsie. My mistake. I didn't mean to kill Philip. It was just a prank, bro. Uh, what am I. Uh, what? Okay, why am I down here? Hmm, I can't go through. Okay. Oh, there's a lever. Yes. Oh, I can't do that. Do I have to open all these doors? I'm still investigating right now. Oh no! No! Wait, am I locked in here now? It seems to be locked from the other side. I was just investigating. Oh wait, hold on. Maybe there's more of those little tomb things. I don't think these are called tomb things. They have a, they have a name, but I can't really think of it right now. Yeah, I guess we'll go through here and open the door. Shouldn't be a big of a deal. They said it was locked from the other side. So it's timed, so... I guess I have to go back now. Let me try this place first. There was another passageway that I wanted to check out. I don't know, that's just another place for these things. Well, that was a close one. Oh no, it's a door. There you, there you are. No, I'm not down for that. <laughs> okay. Oh, there are more of these. Huh. Is there anything I'm missing? Maybe there's like a repellent arrow. Huh. Wonder what that was about. Um. Door prevents entry. Wait, where am I? Can I get through here? Yes, I can. But I still don't know where I'm at. Let's see. I'm not following the map so far. Okay, so then I turn on the lever and then I can pass by. So that's what this deal is. Alright, so let's go ahead and go on by. Come on, Alyssa. <laughs> I accidentally said... Uh, Scissorman's quote. Oh, Ralph's quote. But he's basically the scissor man of this game, right? I mean, they have a pair of scissors. I'm gonna lose it if they actually do call him scissor man. I know they called the other person scissor woman.
could have just shot an arrow. Welcome, Alyssa. That was just a dress rehearsal. Now let the show begin. Lights, camera, action! Hmm, I could have figured. There was no blood involved, unless this is, like, kid-friendly. <laughs> Has there been any blood in this game so far? Give us your beating heart, or else Dennis is going to be sliced and diced. <laughs> run, Lisa. Forget about me. Run for your life. Run, run. Dennis. Silence. Silence. What's it going to be? Leave Dennis or donate your heart to us? The clock is ticking. Look at him. We need an answer. Yes. What's it to be? What are you two laughing about? If I die, then the heartbeat stops. Okay. I think the purpose is for, like, have my heart is to... me to be alive, right? Book of Entities 5. The origins of Ralph and Jemima, the siblings who served Lord Burroughs, are unknown. Accounts were late that Burroughs picked them up on the battlefield, or that they were brought over from the Orient. However, none of these stories are more than hearsay. The siblings were horrendously cruel by nature, and it is said that they were the torturers and executioners during Lord Burroughs' bloody campaign. Showing a peculiar fascination for blades, and in particular, scissors, they found endless enjoyment in gutting and dismembering Victims while still alive. When Lord Burroughs was finally killed, Ralph and Jemima were stoned to death by the crowds. Because both were possessed by the same entity, they were resurrected together and continued to wreak havoc as subordinates. Mm-hmm. I guess I should go by their names like that then. Right now, I'm just using nicknames for them. Ah, uh, Wait, why am I back in here? This looks just like Grandfather's room. What is it doing here? He had a strange design of the same thing. Oh. Alyssa's drawings. For Grampy. Today I read a book with pretty pictures of what pretended to be Grandma and ate up a girl. It was scary so I went to Grampy's room because Grampy would save me. Grampy is really strong and he can kill a wolf. I love my Grampy. I'm going to stay with him forever and ever. Love, Alyssa. You gone too far, Alyssa. You really took those words to account. Hmm. Who would have thought? This is your whole doing, Alyssa. This is why he's acting so unhinged right now. A ladder. Where does it go? I wonder. Climb the ladder? Dude, he kept all of those photos. He's just cherishing those drawings. I don't think I can keep it for that long. Wouldn't it, like, t turn yellow by now? Well, I think some of them were yellow. Then again, I'm thinking of 2018. This is 2002. It's only been, like, three years for them. This is a long chapter. Lord Burroughs, my ancestor, hear me. I know of your pain and anger when you lost your beloved daughter Annabelle. Just before the ritual of engagement, 
My love for Elisa led me to kill her father, Philip. Entity! Was everything you're doing? Is it all because of you? Do you want me to resurrect Lord Burroughs after 400 years? To unite us and to enact the ritual of engagement with Alyssa's blood? Is that what you want? Do you truly want me to stab my dearest granddaughter in the chest? <gasps> <laughs> well, that doesn't sound bad. Once the deed is done, I will be with Alyssa forever. Return to this earth, Lord Burroughs. Join with me, and we will complete the ritual of engagement. Enter my body, and let our flesh be fused. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, they're actually fusing? This should be an interesting fight then. I mean, for their rankings, they're just, like, insignificant guards. Anywho. Does that mean that we're about to dive into the boss fight? It's been quite a while. I, I guess I'm doing the same thing, except I'm not gonna fall down the stairs this time. Uh... Alright, so I guess I'll get to that point, and then I'm gonna cut off the camera one last time. So we can prep for the boss battle. So, turn that on. Alyssa, I really need you to communicate with me. You know, you'd be surprised that she's doing worse at communicating with me than all the previous protagonists in Clock Tower. Even Jennifer. Alright, so I'm gonna save here, one last break, and then we're off to defeat the two duos. Might be a difficult boss battle since I'm fighting two people at once. Unless I can put them in together, or they fuse, I don't know how this is gonna go, but we'll see. Alright, here we go. So I'm assuming there's a cutscene here. Mm-hmm. Jemima. Looking forward to this fight. Scissor Woman is what everyone's been calling her. But they call her Jemima in this game. Oh. She actually goes by Scissor Woman. 396 years. Wait, what? Wait, why is she so weak? Maybe it's because the other person's not here, her partner. Her <laughs> partner. 
Okay. I'm like 25% done here. Okay, Alyssa, I need you to cooperate. Can you turn? No, she can't turn while this is going on. Hmm. Let's see, where's she turning? There she is. Okay, Alyssa, time to focus. There you go. Too easy. You could have done that the first time. So unappreciated. I thought Scissor Woman was going to be a lot better than this. Oh my gosh, here we go. DeviantArt Scissor Man. How dare you kill my sister! You'll pay for it! I'll make mincemeat out of you! We'll see about that, Scissor Man fraud. Yes, they do go by Scissor Man with this. This is not the same one. They should have left this character out and made Scissor Woman like much more powerful. How about that? Okay, this one's gonna be a bit tricky because he moves too fast. He doesn't teleport at least. So that's good to know. Okay. Have at it. Just standing there charging up. You could have easily avoided my attack here. He's easy to trap. As long as you know when his phrase comes in. That's not the end. I highly doubt that. Look at his health bar. I mean, most of the times this has been like instant death. If the game is this easy, then I, I have some criticisms. But I do appreciate that, the special attacks. Yeah, definitely wasn't gonna be enough. He's an easy one, isn't he? Oh my gosh, Alyssa. You had... Alyssa. How did you miss that? Okay, no worries. He'll stop at some point to say that he has a present for me. Christmas is not here yet. Be aware of that. He makes it too easy when he says this. Alright. This should be the end of him. He missed me entirely. Let's get rid of this fraud. Two times in a row, huh? Well, it wasn't exactly in a row, but two times in one boss fight. Wait, that's all he has to say after that attack? Now he's gone cuckoo. I'm the winner. Now to take revenge for my sister. Alyssa! Has there been blood involved by any chance, aside from the game over screen? Hmm. A quizzical duo.
It was you who saved me. I, it was something special. <laughs> 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 you destroyed all the subordinates. You think you're so clever, but you still have to destroy me. If you want to save your mother, come up to the top of the clock tower. I'm waiting! Grandfather! Grandfather? The real identity of the Dark Man. It's my grandfather. I have to go, Dennis. You stay here. He doesn't know who the Dark Man is. Wait a Don't treat me like a girl. I'm the man here. Dennis, you may be a man, but you're not a ruder. I am. Hey, don't leave me, Alyssa. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess the next part's going to be the finale. Since we have eradicated all subordinates. And now it's left to the grandfather, who is the antagonist of this, because he wants Alyssa's heart. Ah, what an absurd notion from him. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this playthrough of Clock Tower Part 5. Clock Tower 3 Part 5. Um, yeah, it was a pretty long one. I just wanted to get to the boss fight as quick as possible, but there was like a lot of tasks to take on. And it was getting really tedious, honestly. I had more fun doing the last part because dealing with that Kratos guy, that was that was fun. He was easy to deal with. It was fun doing those objectives. I don't know what it is, but maybe it was the commentary. I, I felt more energetic during that time, even though I didn't sound energetic, but I'm always nonchalant. So there you have it. So next part is the final one, and then I'll do a montage afterwards. So I hope you all enjoyed this playthrough of Clock Tower 3, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay awesome, kitty savers.